So we would like to compute the transfer function for a physical system. In this case, it's a reactor. We have a feed coming in. Um, there's a reaction going on. Uh, the reactant A is turned into the product B. And out comes, uh, and then, then we have a drain here. Um, the transfer function. Well, let's just talk about, uh, normally we would solve for the concentration in this tank. And uh, I'd like to use a green color to symbolize this um, concentration, which is the, uh, a function of time. This is also the concentration that exits the reactor because we're assuming we have a well stirred reactor. So whatever's in the reactor is also what comes out of the reactor. Um, but we also have an incoming concentration, the concentration of the feet. And when I say concentration, I mean the concentration of the reactant A for the uh, feet. And that's the same thing for the, uh, for the drain here. Um, yes. Now the... Um, Transfer function, typically we call it capital G of S, where S is a complex variable, is defined as the Laplace transform of the, um, let's use the green again, of the output, capital C of S, divided by the Laplace transform of the input, capital C in of S. Um, all right, so let's see how we can uh, find this um, transfer function here. And we start out by just writing an ordin ordinary molar balance here. We have some amount of substance entering the system per time unit. We have amount of substance generated per time unit. We have accumulated substance per time unit, and then something that leaves the tank per, per time unit. And of course I'm referring to, well, not of course, but I am referring to the compound A in this case. So what enters, how much of A enters the system? Well, that's F times the uh, input concentration, C in of T. And what is generated? Well, actually, A disappears in the reactor because it's, uh, it's uh, turned into B. So we have minus K times B times the concentration so that would be c not capital c just regular c here um, assuming that it's a first order reaction taking place in here and k is the reaction constant and the accumulation uh, that would be um, dna dt plus the, the amount that leaves the tank, that's F times, you guessed it, C of T. And as you know, as you probably know, uh, we will replace this term here by dN volume times, times concentration. C of T, and because the volume is constant, uh, we have the same, oops, we have the same um, flow entering and leaving the system. We can pull the volume outside and we get the C of T to T, like that. Um, right. 
So let's just rearrange this a little bit. If we replace this term by, by this thing here and uh, rearrange a little bit, what we get is this. So I just rearranged the terms a little bit. And uh, now we're ready to, to do the Laplace transform. And uh, we need two rules, two uh, properties of the Laplace transform. Um, so let's just remind ourselves the Laplace transform of a function f of t is typically referred to as capital F of s. All right, so there's there's a property, let's call it property one, which says that the Laplace transform of a constant times f of t, well, that's just the constant times the Laplace transform of f. And then there's another property that tells us that the Laplace transform let's just write a little prettier like that of the derivative of f is equal to s times the laplace transform of s minus f evaluated at zero so that's all we need to know to do this laplace transform here so if we look at the first, well, let's look at the middle term, actually. There we have a constant, k times v plus f, that's just a number, it's a constant, times c of t. If I Laplace transform this term first, what I would get is this constant plus f times the Laplace transform of c. And I'll just... I decided to call that capital C of S. I don't know what function it is, but I'll just call it capital C of S. All right. For this term here on the right hand side, well, there I have a constant times a function. So when I Laplace transform this term here, I get that constant times the Laplace transform of C in which I'll call capital C in of S. And then the first term over here, um, the derivative of C. When I Laplace transform that, I get this expression here. That's rule number two. And then I have a constant multiplied. I use rule number one. So altogether, what I get is... Um, v times s times the Laplace transform of c. So that's capital C of s. And then minus c evaluated at 0. Now, I really hope that this quantity here is zero. In fact, we need it to be zero. So that's actually saying that the initial condition of our system here, the concentration in the tank at time zero is zero. We'll just assume that for now. If that's the case, this term disappears. And that enables us to factor out this capital C of S, because we have capital C of S here, we have capital C of S here. So what we can do is write, oh, sorry. We can write V times S plus K times V plus F, all multiplied by C, capital C of S. And the right-hand side, well, that's just the same. F times C in, capital C in, of S. So what I'm going to do now, because what I really want to achieve is this 
sorry, uh, transfer function here. So I want this output here, my response, divided by my input. So all I have to do is isolate C of S. I'll just do that now, like that. So I just divided by this term over here. And then I'll divide by C in of S so that I get the transfer function like that. And as you can see, this is then my transfer function um, for this system. We call this um, quantity here, we call it our input or sometimes the forcing term. And this is our output or response. And the transfer function is just the ratio between the, tra the uh, Laplace transformed output divided by uh, the Laplace transformed input. That gives you the transfer function.